All right, here we go. As requested. Welcome back. Um, I looked at the Game Grumps page, and I'm pretty sure that they only played the first one. I was thinking about which one to play. And um, I'm pretty sure they only played through Ace Attorney, not Justice for All, which is the second one. The unfortunate thing is the original Phoenix Wrights are just all kind of the same on the same engine. And they're essentially just different trial packs. Um, but, like, when you hit play, it'll ask, like, you can do each scenario. But these are all essentially, like, the same from the Game Boy Advance. Um, I also got... Uh, this one. The new one. I was hoping... I was thinking about playing this one because it's voice acted. Or at least I was hoping it would be voice acted to make this all a little easier on me. But then I thought you wouldn't like that. Is he wearing the fucking Zapelli hat? I don't know if you can see my mouse. This guy at the bottom right, uh, right next to whoever, I think his name is like Miles or, or Apollo? Apollo Justice? No, that's the American guy with the hair. Um, I don't remember his name. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, Nepeli Jojo. Oh, kind of, almost. He's almost wearing the Zapelli hat. It's got the same energy. Um, but yeah, he's turning. So, Justice for All, I think, is what you want me to play. I will try to play as much as this as I can, as quick as I can. Is, do I not get options? Is this just like a straight GBA port <laughs> where it's not going to have like an options menu or any PC settings? It's just going to be the game. Because I'd rather not play... Oh, options is right here. I'm retarded. Uh, full auto skip, screen shake, on, on, text box. Oh, the transparency? I don't care. Can I get... Yeah, here we go. There we go. There we go. V-Sync, sure. I might plug in a controller if it's... If it is deemed appropriate. Okay. In fact, let me go get it. So this is the first game. I don't know if you remember everything that happened from the first game. I've played the first game. Um, I have not played the second, so this will be new for me too. Uh, long story short, if you don't remember everything, uh, this is your teacher lady. Uh, she dies <laughs> immediately. And then you go to her little sister who's a psychic and she kind of like channels her for you a little bit and helps you out. You become an attorney. Miles, Miles Edgeworth is your... Um, your rival homosexual attorney flame. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, oh yeah. I don't remember a lot of that. Wait, no, I'm still in the original one. Oh wait, this was, was that Trials and Tribulations that shows her? Oh, that's the third game. I was gonna say, I don't recognize whatever's happening on the left side of the screen here. Um, this one is the first one with your dipshit friend, your dead boss and all that. But yeah, he kills, the, she, he kills him with a thinker statue. I remember. It freezes at a certain time. So I know nothing. And, and I will say the uh, the clown lady is lurking in one of these games. I don't know which one it is. It's the second or third. It's funny. I went to the, to the Phoenix Wright thing. Here, let me show you. To get the game to see. And I, I looked at reviews because some of the reviews for the newer one was poor. And I saw this review immediately. My lust for the closey brought me here to buy this masterpiece. So the memes are already spreading. I don't know why, what, or how. 
He is a lawyer, not like Saul Goodman from the hit TV show Breaking Bad. Breaking the Bad. You're on Elite Legends. Okay, it's just memes. This game has impacted my taste in men significantly. Good for you? What does that mean? There's lots of weird looking dudes in these games. The guy that killed your boss with the fucking the USA guy, he was a little weird. I think he was the one that killed your boss. And he thought he could get away with it because he was so rich. Oh wait, did I just choose the wrong one? I was not paying attention. Uh... Shit. Let me restart. I don't know if I chose the right one, I just kind of chose one. I was not thinking. I just woke up. I'm so sorry. This is very unprofessional. Come on a second. Dang, it's Cyclops over here. Where's the hot whip lady? I want to. I want her to be my prosecutor. Um. Oh, did I fuck up my? Okay, no, it didn't. This one. Oh, I might have chosen the right one. Shit. The same music. My hair is all fucked up right now. So, no promises on anything on here. I'll work on it. That's far enough. You cannot run forever. Mr. Phoenix Wright. I don't know who this is. <laughs> it's the judge in a nightmare. What? Oh, I have to. I guess I'll just make Phoenix Wright my normal voice. I cannot allow you to go on like this. Hmm? I'm just a simple defense attorney. Silence. You are no longer worthy of your title. Oh god, I can't do that voice very long. <laughs> and we have been gaveled. September 8th, 9.08 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. <laughs> it's my ringtone. Hell yeah. What a nightmare. And I bet it was this ringtone that caused it. I really shouldn't be dozing off right before a trial starts anyways. He's a great lawyer. Huh? Looks like they hung up. Ah, good. I finally found it. Hello? Talk about a close call. I hate to do this to you, but... Did he just beat me over the head with a fire extinguisher? It's nothing personal, Mr. Attorney. Did I just get clubbed? A few minutes later, district court defendant lobby number one. Did I just oversleep my trial? Did nobody notice me getting assaulted in the court? Do we not have cameras? Ouch, my head, it's throbbing. And why does it feel so foggy in there? Oh, hey girl, with your feathers, what the fuck are you doing? Good morning. Ugh. Uh, good morning. What's wrong? You don't look well. People are at their best first thing in the morning. Where's the fighting spirit? Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, but can you turn the cheeriness down? My head sort of hurts. Roger that. Mm, am I in trouble? Hmm? Trouble. Wait, never mind. You're a policewoman, right? I thought maybe I'd done something wrong. W what are you talking about? I'm the one in trouble. What? Oh, I think I've lost my memory. I think I got clubbed and now I'm going to have to wing it. And I think this is my defendant. Placing my life in your hands today, Mr. Wright. Life in my hands? You promised me. You promised me you would prove that I was not guilty. Not guilty. Just when I thought all hope was lost. When all of the lawyers had laughed me off. Leave it to me, you said. You, the one and only Phoenix Wright, came to save the day. And just like that, I was moved to tears. I'll never forget what you're doing for me. Ever. What is this girl bad boy about? Actually, I'd really love to watch the court proceedings, and I will always root for you to win. Oh, I always watch the court proceedings, so she knows who I am. When I'm off duty, I like to come here and... What's wrong? You've been acting really strange, and you keep staring at me. You make me kind of nervous, sir. Uh, sorry. Hmm, I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. So this might sound bad, but who are you? What? Mr. Wright, how can you say that? How can you do this to the fragile heart of a girl on trial? You're absolutely horrible. No, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. Is this how a defendant attorney treats his clients, sir? I can't believe this. No, it's just what- I think you're the wrong person. I'm- Yes? I'm? 
I'm... Who the fuck am I? Why am I drawing a blank? The trial will begin shortly. With the defendant and her lawyer, please proceed to the courtroom immediately. The trial's about to start. I'm counting on you in there, okay? Well, I guess I must have amnesia. Well, at least you remember enough to know that. What can I piece together? From the sound of things, it's probably safe to say that I'm a defense attorney. <laughs> I imagine the guy that hit me was a, the prosecutor. Or the person who's guilty of it. And that girl said I'd prove her not guilty. I can't believe I made such an irresponsible promise. <laughs> ah, someone please. Tell me this is just a bad dream. Why do I get the feeling in this one? This is one dream I won't be waking up from. September 8th, 10 a.m. District Courtroom number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Magdalene Bird. The prosecution is... Oh, God, there's two old people. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. What is it, Mr. Wright? Ah, uh, are you talking to me? Do you see any of the defense attorneys in here? I guess not. Now then, are you ready? <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm not, but yes. I guess I should say yes for now. Are you ready, Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Wait a second. If her life is in my hands, I should really do the responsible thing. Actually, you see, Your Honor, my memory is kind of... The court will not hear the defense's execution of blood forced her. Mr. Mr. Wright, would you clean up the blood from the bench? You're kind of oozing from your temple. Because the defendant is a member of the police, this case is under great scrutiny. Therefore, we must pay to make this trial fair but swift. I believe I, I have told you this before. I hope you're telling me you've not forgotten. Actually, I have forgotten, Your Honor. I have, I have literal brain bleed and swelling. Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Yes, Your Honor. As I'm sure you're well aware, the defendant is accused of killing a lover. What's worse is her lover was a fellow police officer. Policeman, you did what to a police? I don't like the way she's staring at me when he just said that. She's like, I did do that. Mm -hmm. And I'd do it again. A policeman, you did what to a policeman? It wasn't me. And besides, Dustin and I, we weren't even lovers like that. In any case, Your Honor, the prosecution will prove that the guilty party is none other than the departed. Very well. Mr. Payne, please call your first witness. <laughs> it's been a while, Mr. Wright. Let's see what you've learned since last time. I won't show you any mercy this time, rookie. Okay, and who are you? The prosecution calls detect- oh, gumshoe. I gotta make up so many voices in this game and I'm really bad at that. Oh, God. I wonder if you could hear that neck crack. Here we go, don't let me down, Mr. Wright. Nowhere to hide, I'm so dead. Witness, please state your name and occupation. I don't know what to do for Gumshoe. My name is Detective. Ah, mm. He's stupid, like really stupid. But he's not. But he's still a detective. Like he can't just be like literally autistic. My name is Detective Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. You don't look very well, detective. Well, sir, the defendant. Ah, uh, she works under me, you know. You work under that detective? Yes, sir. And while I was a trainee, he was always watching out for me, sir. He was such a wonderful guy, sir. I'll never forget what he's done for me. All right, calm down. I believe you. It's hard because a lot of these, by the way, a lot of these are my inner monologue. So I can't really, like... I guess I could fucking make a soundboard thing for that. <laughs> That'd be actually kind of fun. I'll look into that so you know when I'm thinking internally if you're just listening. Detective the gum shoe. Excuse me, I'm drinking a Red Bull. Please describe the details of the murder. Uh, yes, sir. It uh, happened at the park near the headquarters of Expose. Par Is that the voice I just came? I don't even remember. Are you? It happened at the. I don't remember. <clears throat> the victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. He was pushed down from the benches on the upper path, sir. The landing beat his body up. <laughs> the landing beat his body up bad and snapped his neck. You know, as pavement is known to do. Just beat the shit out of him with a bat. The detail... The de oh. The details are listed in the report that was distributed yesterday. Ah, yes. The autopsy report, correct? 
Why do I not remember getting a copy? I see everything is in order here. Even the estimated time of death is unusually well documented. Sure. The victim's watch had stopped from the impact of the landing, sir. The results of the autopsy confirm the time of death. Isn't this what happened in the fucking first guy? Yeah, it's the same shit. He landed on his watch, and then the ground stood up and beat the shit out of him. Somehow, if I may, if I may, Yana. The prosecution would like to submit this photograph. Very well, the court accepts it into evidence. That's not how this works. Thank you, Legal Legal. You should have shown that shit during discovery. This is incredibly inappropriate. The victim fell from the walking path above. Crime photo one has been... I should tell you as well. I need to tell you things. Of like when there's photos. I gotta really... Because you're probably digging a hole right now or something. Now then, yesterday... Now then, yesterday, I recall yesterday's... <sighs> one moment, let me set him. I don't even know if my voice is recording well for this. I, sh I haven't checked, but I assume I fixed it last time and it's still fixed, right? You wouldn't do me like this. Now then, yesterday, I recall yes. Okay, one more time. Now then, I recall at yesterday's preliminary hearing, a very important piece of evidence was brought to our attention. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, I think. <laughs> Mr. Wright, is your head on right today? No, I said that. I've told you this. It's on the record. There was a very crucial piece of evidence found under the victim's body. Ah, uh, was there? <laughs> Have you lost your mind? Well, yeah. It's just the nerves. Give me a second. <laughs> what? How can you talk like such an amateur? I thought you were a pro, sir. I need... <laughs> I need a blood transfusion. All right, sir. I'll help you through this. At a time like this, maybe you want to take a glance at the court record. Is she going to be my sidekick for the whole game? And where's Maya? Court record? Yep. You know about the evidence and people involved in this case are listed there, sir. You can look at the court record by pressing tab. Tab, huh? You really know what you're doing. It's too bad I'm no cop, right? Just think I could totally be a legal aid instead. Hint, hint! There's no way I'm keeping my fucking job, sir! I could really use an exit strategy! Mr. Wright! Yes, Your Honor. Court is in session. Save your chit chat for later. I'm not allowed to talk legal defense with my fucking fellow. Mm. Okay, saving the chit chat. Sorry, Your Honor. Well, I guess I'd better check the court record and see what I can find. What was it again? Tab? Do I do it now? Oh, okay. We have my attorney's badge, shows that I am a defense attorney, a cell phone that I found in my pocket, but I don't remember what it means or how I got there. It's my cell phone. Time of death, broken body covered in bruises, 6.28 p.m. Glasses found under the victim's body. Piece, pieces of the nearsighted lenses were found nearby. Okay, so keep that in mind. Glasses and they're nearsighted. I guarantee you that's gonna be important. You have to remember to like every random detail they decide to give you, like, Broken neck body was also covered in bruises. Obviously, a fall is not going to cover you in bruises. Um, here's the victim photo from the walking path. Oh, um, that <laughs> there's already an inconsistency if you look here. Um, the clock says it's seven o'clock. I would guess that's about seven. And the watch that they're using as evidence says that the time of death, death is 628. Unless this was taken like a half hour afterwards, like when the police got there. I guess that could be the case. But that already might be inconsistent. Also, is there something under his body or is that just supposed to be blood? Oh no, he was writing something, wasn't he? Oh, I see it. <gasps> oh, I can already tell. Look, his po his index finger. I can't, I can't. I think he wrote something in his own blood. The classic. Okay. We already got a lot from that. What was the piece of evidence found under the body? Oh, good thing I checked that when I did. Glasses. That's simple, Your Honor. A broken pair of glasses. That's right. The victim grabbed his killer's glasses as he was being shoved, sir. And he held onto them as he, as, he, as he fell. Hey! Why are you giving me the evil eye? Those glasses you're wearing. Mm, I bet you she's not... I bet you she's farsighted. Yes, this is my spare pair. But those glasses they found on the scene of the crime aren't mine, I swear, sir. You sure about that? Look, it was a coincidence that on the same day I actually stepped on mine. A coincidence, she says. Mm. <laughs> Your Honor, I have further evidence to present. No? You have more? And this evidence is very decisive. I guess I should get the gesticulation in here. Very well, let's hear from our, from our witness about this evidence. Witness test. Okay, decisive evidence. 
There's something even more incriminating than the glasses under the victim's body, sir. During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench area, but he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground when he landed. Maggie! Oh, he did! I don't like saying it, but it very, very clearly wrote Maggie. With this piece of evidence, with a broken neck? He shattered his neck and wrote Maggie. Okay. With this piece of evidence and the glasses, it's not hard to say she's the cul- It's hard not to say she's the culprit. This is the picture of the writing, Your Honor. Yeah, I had it. Thank you. Why? This is... Is he left-handed or right-handed? I bet you he's left-handed. I'm fucking... You're not gonna like playing this game with me, babe. You're really gonna regret this. I can, I'm gonna get this shit all figured out. Because you just have to think about what could disprove it. Yes, I can see your name is clearly written here. Sorry. Oh, I got old again. The prosecution would like to submit this picture. Understood. The court accepts it into evidence. Crime photo 2 has been added to the criminal record. As if the glasses alone... Oh, <clears throat> as if the glasses alone didn't make you look suspicious. The victim even wrote your name in clear stay in the ground. But, but, but I already told you the glasses are mine. And how do you explain his dying message? It's a conspiracy! I'm not guilty, sir! Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Cross-examine? This is it. I'm counting on you. Oh, I didn't try to balance the audio. I hope that's fine. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Just in case. There hasn't been too much music, so I think I'm fine. And I'm talking really close to the mic. What? This isn't like you at all. Normally, this is the part where you get in the witness's face. Get in their face and do what? I guess there's no way around it. Okay, I'm gonna lend you a hand. The prosecution's witness all hide things from the court, even though that is incredibly fucking illegal. Which means they lie from time to time. Lie? But isn't that, isn't that detective your superior? Well, even if they don't mean to lie, sometimes they just get it wrong. Hmm, sounds like he does kind of look like a scatterbrain. Doesn't matter. Either way, it's bad for us, sir. That's why when you question the witness, you have to find and expose their lies. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. Talk about the trial by fire. Here goes nothing. As long as I can expose the lies, it should be all right. I didn't see anything particularly, um, glaringly bad in there. There's something even more incriminating than the glasses are under the victim's body, sir. Technically, it's not under the victim's body. It's in... It's like... In, uh, do you have any proof they belong to my client? Oh, sorry. The glasses are nearsighted and almost the same strength as hers. Even the frames look kind of like the ones she's wearing in her ID, pal. Hmm, what should I do now? Continue pressing. Hold it. Almost and kind are not good enough in a case like this. Uh, um... Do you have any more definitive proof? Is there something that can clearly link the defendant with those glasses? Uh, um... The dirt and sand rub, any tra traces of fingerprints or anything else. So what you're saying, detective, is there true of nothing that proves these classes are my clients? Um, something like that. Wh what? I see. Mm, so there is no proof. Wow, that was amazing. I could totally feel it down in my gut. Sure, man. During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench. Should I just press on everything? Like, I feel like all of this is you have no proof that he was pushed. How are, you, how are you sure he was pushed and that's how he fell? Yeah, pal, if you look at the wounds on the victim's body, there's no way it was anything else. Hmm, please continue with your testimony. Okay. The victim fell pretty far away. Write the culprit's name on the ground. Culprit's name? Yeah, I was surprised too. I didn't want to believe it, but... Was the name of... Was that the name of my client? <laughs> I don't know my client's name. I don't like saying it, but the client, the client's name is... It was clearly the client, the, fa Ugh, the name Maggie, sir. I'm gonna keep asking. I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm just testing the game. Are you absolutely certain? Sorry, pal, but that's what it said. Could it be something else from a different direction? Hmm, he's got a point. Hey, hold on. Don't harm me. I know the picture says Maggie, but now that you mentioned this, there's, there's something off about the picture. Present some evidence. That's what a contradiction looks like. I better check the court record again. Is it that he had a broken neck? It's hard to say she's not the culprit. I'm just gonna keep holding it until I figure out what I'm doing. Are you certain that it was the victim who wrote the name on the ground? There were scratches on his finger from the rough sand. 
though grains of sand stuck under his pointer nail. It certainly, se <clears throat> it certainly seems the name of the victim was written. Uh, the, the name was written by the hand of the victim itself. I'm glad you're all pumped up, but I really want to see your special move, sir. My what? You always look so cool when you present evidence. Present evidence. Oh, that present evidence. Actually, I was just thinking about that. Yes, the great Phoenix Wright is back. Oh, that's right. I heard that lately you can only, you can present not only evidence, but people's profiles as well. I'm sure it makes things a bit more complicated, so be careful, sir. People's profiles, huh? All right, let's give this another try. There's something even more incriminating under the victim's body, sir. During his date, the victim was punched for the bench area, but he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground. Uh, I think it's that his neck broke. <laughs> That's my evidence. Can I? Oh, fuck. I know. Stop, 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 stop. No, I didn't mean to cycle through again. I hit. Okay, here we go. Present. Objection! Objection! Clearly, there's a contradiction. How exactly are the evidence? They aren't. They are. No, okay, so I fucked that up. Well, I feel like if he had a broken neck, he couldn't write anything. He snapped his neck, and it paralyzes you. I guess it's the... It's the fact that the picture... I don't see how the picture doesn't say Maggie. But apparently they do. Objection! Objection! Your Honor, the statement contradicts the evidence. It does? I don't see any contradictory. What? Really? Objection denied. Try to think. Oh God, I really suck at this right now. Oops, they didn't take that very well. Can I get a hint? I don't understand. Is it this one? Oh, profiles. Oh, they spelled Maggie wrong. That's what it is. This is the profile they were talking about. Um, um, what, what is it? I'm, I'm, I'm unamnesiaing. What, what's come over me? Without thinking, I just blurted out objection. And I yelled at them, the top of my lungs, fingered up, outstretched, ready to take on my opponent. What a rush. <laughs> Detective, uh, Detective Gumshoe. You, you dog of the meat pal. Please state the defendant's name for me. Objection. <laughs> what are you trying to prove with this futile exercise, Mr. Wright? You'll see. This is a very crucial line of questioning. Actually, Mr. Payne, you can answer. The defendant's name, if you please. W where's this ridiculous kind of uh, objection, Your Honor? Argumentative. The defendant's name is uh, Maggie Bird. <laughs> I love how I just think... I, I love how I just read what he said. He said Maggie, M-A-G-G-I-E instead of E-Y. And Phoenix Wright verbally heard him say it with I-E and went, oh, you fucking idiot. I heard you didn't use E-Y in your vocal cords. I think you need to check the court record. What? It says right here that it's Maggie Bird. Ah! Looks like the bird caught the cat napping. What's going on here? I, I can see words in your mouth. I have no idea either, sir. As you can see, the victim didn't date. The victim did indeed leave a name Maggie. However, the defendant's name is actually spelled Maggie. Sure, man. M A G G E Y. This is a blatant contradiction of facts. Oh! How about that? I hadn't even noticed, Gumshoe. It's your fucking job. Objection! What? 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 Maybe the victim didn't know how to correctly spell the name. Objection! May I remind you that it was you who said the defendant is accused of killing her lover? If they were truly lovers, it would be impossible for him to have not known his, her name. No! Is this very true, Mr. Payne? Y yes, Your Honor. Are you absolutely certain that the defendant and the victim, Dustin Prince, were in fact lovers? Uh, yes, Your Honor, I'm quite certain. They were a well-known couple in the police force. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court between the relationship. Uh, yes, sir. Dustin and Maggie. Officer Prince and Officer Bird have been going out for half a year. It sounded like they were even talking about marriage. 
The day of the incident happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Maggie, I mean, Officer Bird had gotten Officer, Officer Prince a present. It was something she had bought over two months ago. I should know because she came to ask me what I should get for him. Oh, those two sound like they were very close. Nevertheless, tragedy stuck, struck. Mm, yes, I see. You may cross-examine the witness, Mr. Wright. So two months ago. <sighs> Officer Bird and Officer Blah Blah had been going out for half a year. Let me look at those profiles. 22 and 30. He was dating the defendant. Prosecutor generally bad at getting his points across. Detective at the local precinct in charge of the initial investigation. They really were nice about his profile. I thought they would say a lot more stuff. Um. Okay, let's talk about it. How do you know about this? Every year in March, we had a training camp for us corps. Officer Bird was a rookie at the time, and she and Detect Officer Prince seemed to hit it off. They got close, I take it. Actually, I was supposed to go too, but I couldn't pay for the butt deposit for the trip, so I didn't. Oh, I'm sure. If only I'd gone on that trip. What is it? Oh, nothing, sir, really. Anyway, that was sus. Sounded like they were even talking about marriage. What about marriage? Marriage? But wasn't that... Wasn't the victim eight years older than... Hey, Phoenix. What? You say a guy's gotta marry someone to stage him as himself, pal? No, that's not what I meant at all. Detective Gumshoe and Dustin were only about a year apart. You know, she's fucking... Mm, I think this fella has a ways to go before marriage. Wow. Mind your own business, pal. The day the incident happened... Oh, I got an achievement for getting yelled at. The day of the incident happened to be the... <laughs> he told me to mind my own business. Okay, this is my business. The day of the incident, you mean September 6th? Yeah. The victim, Officer Prince, had just gotten off duty at 5.30 p.m. that day. And since Maggie's night shift hadn't started yet, they went to the pack for a bit. I remember when I was young and in love. Oh, it was a jolly time. Judge? Ah... Great, Your Honor. I'm glad you're such a cheerful old man. Maggie, I mean, Officer Bird had gotten her Officer Prince. What's the present? You seem to know a lot. Of, you seem to know a lot about the defendant. Well, that's because I'm her boss. I gotta watch out for my subordinates. But even when she was go, even when she was gonna give him as a present, isn't that a bit too far? Hey, pal, watch what you say. I know everything that happens under me. If somebody so much scratches there, I really don't need to know that much, I'm sure. Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. I agree. Even if the witness has a crush on the defendant, that shouldn't be the point of the discussion at this time. Whoa, wait a second. Why are we talking about this? It's all your fault, pal. You're guilty, guilty, guilty. I should have you arrested. What are you trying to say I'm some sort of fraternizer? I think the detective is about goes down here. There's something she had bought over two months ago. I'm just going to press everything. I don't know why I wouldn't. Over two months ago? Yep, she's a very considerate woman, pal. So, what was this birthday present? She got him a glove. A single glove? Why would she, does he golf? Um, actually, Your Honor, the glove is actually a baseball glove. I guess that makes sense. Oh, I see. A baseball glove. Officer Prince was a huge baseball fan. Baseball glove. Hmm? Press further. Just now, I believe you said the present was something she had bought over two months ago. Yeah? Are you saying she bought a glove at a store that far in advance? Nah, nothing like that, pal. Then what was it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Custom made? The glove was custom made? Yep, that's what I said. Mmm, so the glove was custom made. Why do we care? Does it, like, not fit his hand or something? Is that going to be important? Yeah, so it seems like there's a little irrelevance. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think the glove is really relevant? Um... I don't think it is, but I'm going to say yes because I don't want to miss... I don't know where this will leave me, but... Of course it's relevant. That glove is the key to this whole case. Yes! Bluff it to the max! Hey, Bird, don't call me out on this. No, this is the Mr. Right, I know. I'm so happy you're back, sir. I was wondering how long you would take. This is great. Hmm, pressing people. It feels like I've done this before. As if they're used to squeeze information from even the most tight-lipped people. Clap. Very well, if you are convinced, then let's hear some more about the matter. Actually, I brought the gun glove with me here today. And? Why don't you- Why didn't you say so earlier? Hurry up and show the glove, you dipshit! Well, I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Was it fucking bananas? It's a Oh, sorry, that's my lunch, sir. Anyway, this is it, sir. Uh, it's rather yellow, isn't it? Baseball glove added to the court record. Officer Prince really liked the color of the yellow. And that's why you had the special- And that's why you had a special order it? 
Yep, that's right. That and one other reason. His massive hands. I think, but she said in the beginning that her and Dustin weren't like that. I think this court has heard enough. It is clear that the victim and the defendant were involved with one another. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Now, if that's true, let's bring up an important question. Why did he get the name wrong? I see your point, Your Honor. Detective Gumshoe, please tell the court a little more about the name on the ground. Yes, sir. Writing on the ground. Oh, the glove's gonna be important because he's left-handed. I'm right. It's about to happen. The glove's gonna be custom. It's custom made for him. It, he, she said, and one other reason. It's left-handed glove. I am goaded with this thing. I'm fucking ridiculous. But also, bitch, why didn't you just tell me that? That's a fucking silver bullet. And she was like, yeah, one other reason. I'll let you know after I get arrested, and tried, and convicted. You stupid bitch. We first looked into the handwriting. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm it was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. We found that there was sand under the victim's nail. There were also scratches on his skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. From this, we can confirm that the victim wrote the name with his right hand. He's left-handed. I was right. Just roll the, roll the video back 20 minutes, babe. Trust me. I fucking nailed that. Oh, uh, yes. A perfectly logical conclusion. Now that Mr. Wright, you may have crossed the gem of this. Thank you, Your Honor. I already know where to go with this. Let me see the evidence. Let me see if it says that the glove is for left-handed people. That is... Oh, is that a right-handed... No, that's a right-handed glove. Fuck. Or wait. Does that mean you're left-handed? Oh, that means you're left-handed because you throw with your dominant hand. And you catch with your... I have to... Like, I have to put myself back in baseball. If I had a glove on my right hand, I'd be throwing with my left. And I, I think it's the other... Yeah, this feels right. This feels better. So it is because he's left-handed that that's a right-handed glove. We first looked in the handwriting. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the fingers, point the finger, found the sand, scratched on the ground from this with his right hand. Okay. Objection. Bam. Detective Gum, Detective Gumshoe. <clears throat> I gotta clear all the morning fucking gunk out of me. <sighs> Detective Gumshoe, please take a look at this. That's the glove, right? I just fucking handed you that glove. Did you know the court was special about this glove? What's special? Well, I never really thought about it, but, uh... It's really yellow. And, uh, that's about it. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is really yellow, but that's only one of its qualities. Huh? There's another reason why it's special, Detective. And what would that be? Could you shut the fuck up, Judge? I'm fucking... I'm setting the stage here. It's very simple. This glove is made for a left-handed person. Casey's ridiculous. Left-handed? What? Why, you're absolutely right. This glove is made to be worn on the right hand. That's why it had to be custom made. I've never seen a bright yellow left-hander's glove for sale, have you? Well, uh, no, but I would play ball. So, detective, which hand did the victim use to write the name again? That's easy. Look, it's obvious from the picture it was his... Whoa, 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 wait a second. Don't forget that the victim was left-handed, detective. Ah! Objection. This is, uh, I mean, object... Mm, overruled, you little piss ass. Mr. Wright, I would like to know what your line of reasoning proves. Are you fucking kidding me, Judge? There's only one conclusion that can be drawn. The left-handed person could not have written a message with his right hand. Therefore, the person that wrote the name Maggie could not have been the victim. Order, order in the court. When you think about it that way, then yes. It's not possible this name was written by the victim himself. Then that means Maggie's... No, it's not possible. Mr. Payne. Y yes, Your Honor. The evidence that the prosecution has presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe you have proven her to be innocent. No. All right, you did it, Mr. Wright. Ooh, I feel like I can breathe again. Seems we have reached the conclusion. You did a fine job once again, Mr. Wright. Me, Your Honor? Well, thank you, sir. I love it if I just never get my memory back and I just, like, I guess I'm an attorney now. <laughs> like, you just kind of, like... We just kind of... Listen, I don't need to know case law for any of this shit. It's entirely made up. See, you you got complimented by the judge again. You're really good. And that's why you can't give up being a lawyer, sir. Are you joking? I'm more than ready to retire. More than ready to retire. I will now announce my verdict. Oh, no, not yet. I mean, please give me a few more minutes, Your Honor. What is the meaning of this, Mr. Payton? The prosecution is not finished yet. What? What do you mean? 
We would like to call our next witness to the stand. And this is going to be the murderer. He's going to be the dude with the hair that hit me. And what did this witness, uh, mean witness? The moment the victim was pushed to his death. And what's more, he saw the face of the very culprit. What the heck? Clank, clank, clank. I feel like in this society, if you just prepped a witness enough, you could win any court case. Like... They don't check. They don't even make you swear in under oath. We're just going to put this random witness in. You could just be like, yeah, this guy was here. And uh, I've prepped him to the tits. So he's just going to lie. I believe in a re uh, I believe a recess is in order. Afterwards, we will hear from the new witness. I had a feeling this was a bit too easy. Mm, I need more information. I'll just see what I can find out during the recess. I can't let my guard down. It's only going to get tougher from here. Court is adjourned for recess. To be continued. Nice. That's a good stopping point for the first thing. So I can check and make sure this entire episode wasn't worthless. I hate how scared I get that my audio is fucked. I'm going to record a bunch today probably. Because, you know, actually today it might be d and I have to prep at some point. But I'm going to try to get this recorded quickly. So I'll pause here. I'll go put some fucking product in my hair maybe. Just for you. Just so I can look pretty. I love you. Hopefully that went well. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Uh, I'm doing my best. This is a lot for me to do with all the voices and everything. Okay, love you. Bye. See you soon.